That's right, nuts and bolts. I'm at the menu and I already have one complaint. The D-pad does not move the menus. You use the D-pad for the menus these days. What, did they have analog control programmed into them? Do you need to move a little thingamajigger around in order to do them? No. They just move right to left. I mean, yeah, you do that. Right to left. They messed up on this one thing so hard. Plus one thing is nice is that they have a toppling tower of Xbox 360s. They're probably all the ones that red ringed. Just look. Angela's looking at them. Like they could topple over. Now he's just looking the other way. And now he's exercising. Ah. Oh. I can't help but by instinct use the D-pad. I use D-pads for- I use the D-pad for the menu all the time. Unless it's a 2D game. The 2D parts need the D-pad. You don't use your analog stick for the sole purpose to move right to left. They- they messed up so hard. It's the biggest flaw in this game. But anyways, I'm gonna start where I was because I don't want to start a new file. And I'm just gonna show you where I am. And I gotten this disc today. And I can tell you one thing: I never heard the disc reader being so loud in a long time because I actually played on my Sega Genesis. And plus, uh, it notices that I'm player one. Oh, and that blue light there? Yeah, that's the light of my Xbox 360. It's a blue one, not a green one. <laughs> plus, Alex would know which one it is. It's the Halo 4 edition one. The one that came packaged with Halo 4, of course, but I'm not sure if that's the first Xbox 360 game I ever played or not. I'm not really sure. And it's rated M for Mature, and if it was my first Xbox 360 game that I ever played and owned, then that's one weird game to start with because it's rated for Mature. Does so. Look at Banjo here. Plus, I'm going to show you all- oh, Come on! Ugh. Yeah, this is an Xbox Live game. This is not my first picture I took in. And this one literally feels like you're in an Xbox 360. This one was the first picture I took in. And here I am, with two weird things. Uh, yeah. And also, my Xbox 360 controller does not have those weird rumbly packy things. Oh, now I can use my D-pad for only up and down? Oh, this literally... Makes me mad! Oh, it's so flawed. But the game has enough positives. Wait, you have to be in your car? Oh, and watch me run over Grutilda the Witch. <laughs> oh, oh.
<laughs> I drived into <laughs> again. <laughs> I have one more complaint to You don't use your D-pad for the car. Did Microsoft and Rare ever heard of a real game in 3D? You don't use your D-pad for the car. I mean, you don't use the analog for the car. Unless you move the car by actually moving in the direction pointing by the analog stick. You need the D-pad for that stuff. What the? Pioosh! <laughs> yeah, this is the most fun part of the game. Darn it. Okay, now it's time to go into the Xbox 360 to show you how it works. Seriously. Just have to uh, ride it. There we go. And I came here using the car with the worst car controls I have ever used. Seriously, this car controls worse than Grand Theft Auto. Four. Uh, here's Grant Till the Witch again. Yeah, this is how an Xbox 360 works. See the disc? Xbox 360. I'm running on Grunt Till the Witch's face. Hey, the rearware logo. Wait. I'm gonna have to take a new picture. Better. Yeah. Let me show you. Oh, wait. Uh. Let me see if Microsoft's name on is on this at all. Uh, oh. There it is. Microsoft. Microsoft again? This game was originally on the Nintendo 64, which I don't really have. I know, so I want to show you a neat little thing about this thing. Oh, I'm running on the WearWare logo again. C come on! <laughs> How does the inside sl just go slower than the outside? It doesn't make any sense to me. Shouldn't the fact that you're closer mean that you're going faster? <sighs> yeah, that's one mighty fine Easter egg. No, so you usually press the menu button to see the whole map, but. Wait. wait, 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 wait. This is the thing in charge of all the video. I better summon my car.
way, 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 way. Like it. Yeah, since I think this map is small enough to be walked around and explored greatly. Ah, uh, here's the exit. I actually had trouble finding it. Yeah, when you have troubles finding the exit. Oh, and also I don't know what those are. Great, I have as many enemies on me as possible. Oh, uh, here's another rare game. Xbox. That sounds appropriate. Help! I'm being... Well, this Xbox 360 needs some improvement if it has mousies. I got time to uh, try to figure out what this guy wants. Yeah, this guy actually wants something. Darn it. No, um... <laughs> okay. Where did I put this? I know. Well, tell me as soon as I put that in here. Still doesn't tell. Do I, uh, deliver it or something? Up. Uh, Almost gotten wet in the pink goo, which is in all Xbox 360s. Oh, great. Oh, no! Aha! Uh, does this. Um, does this go. Uh, here or something? Oh no. Really? Uh, how brilliant! Actually, you know, I think I'll carry it. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be here. Ah, that sounds right. Nope. Uh, what do I do here? Seriously, what do I do here? If those of you who did played this game are watching, can you please tell me what I'm supposed to do here? Because uh, I got no idea what in the world I am even doing. That's how I entered this game, with no idea of what I'm even going to do, except for the beginning part. I put this here. 
Okay, now, um... Where do I put this? Where is this supposed to go? Um, I better get this. Do I uh, put this uh, here? Um, now where do I put this? Oh, I know, I'm supposed to put this here? No? Oh, well, I don't know. Where do I put this? Uh, oh, I know. Probably. Here. Oh. Where in the world do I even put this? Ah, uh, I think maybe uh, here. I don't really know. Where do I even go? Really, where do I even put this? I don't know who that is.